What's going on? There's something I gotta tell you. Hey, you two, get out. You are trespassing on private property. What are you talking about, Rebecca? Mom and I live here. Wrong again. And if you aren't off this property in five minutes, I'm gonna have security toss you out. Wait a minute. Okay, we were just thrown out of the hospital. Okay, my things are in there. My mother's things are in there. Huh? Not anymore, they aren't. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, you missed her. Maybe the next one. No, you, you can't do this, Rebecca. Oh, no. Watch me. <laughs> Good riddance to bad rubbish. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Rebecca, Gwen, Rebecca, stop it. Will you? That's enough. You made your point, all right? Oh, I have not even begun, Ethan. Oh, and Teresa, you can take your not so saintly, long suffering mother with you. Teresa, you better be out of here by the time we come down. Look, maybe it's best. You should probably just leave, all right? Before they get out here. No, no. no. Why are you still here? I am not going anywhere without my son. Oh, did you hear this, Gwenny? She actually thinks that we're going to let her take little Ethan with her. You know what? You can't do this. I promised him that I would take him to the ceremony. In your dreams. He's never going anywhere with you ever again. You know what? You can't do this. Little Ethan! Yes! You know what? I'm going in to see my son. Over my dead body, Teresa! Oh, no. Get out of here! Did you ever come back to here? Little Ethan! Little Ethan! No, no, don't drag him into this, please. Oh, oh. Sweetheart, it's okay. They were just leaving. Get off me! I want to be with my son! Honey, it's okay. Why don't you go back inside? Nanny's gonna make you some hot chocolate, okay? Mommy! Sweetheart, what kind of monster are you, Gwen? I want my son, and he wants me. Get her out of here now. I love you, baby. Baby, I love you. Mommy! Feliz Navidad, Tatita. Wow, what was that for? We're standing under the mistletoe. <laughs> mm. It's not enough that you come back to Harmony with your mistress in tow. But then you come here to the most important family event of the year, and you kiss her in front of everyone that I know. Damn you, Martin. Damn you and that little whore of yours straight to hell. Are you all right? Yes. <laughs> Wait, did you just ask her if she's all right? What kind of a man are you? How could you be more concerned about your mistress than your own wife? What's going on? Mama, what did you do to him? Wait, Paloma, mi angel. The question here is what has your father done to all of us? Speak for yourself, Mama. And Luis and Teresa, not me. Papa is the only person in this family who has ever cared about me at all. Paloma, please, esto no es verdad. It is my truth, whether you like it or not. If it were up to you, I would have been left in a ditch. Oh, is that what he's been telling you? Huh? Because if it is, it's nothing but a damn lie. Papa doesn't need to tell me how Mama abandoned me. Oh, my God, Paloma, you are so wrong. How many times do I have to tell you? Paloma, the only reason that we sent you to Mexico is so that you didn't have to go through the pain and suffering that we all did because of him. Oh, yeah, some suffering. I've seen the Crane Mansion where Mama and Teresa live. You know what, Paloma? You've got a wrong impression, okay? And just for the record, Mama and I were thrown out of the mansion tonight by Gwen and Rebecca. And they won't even let me be with my son for Christmas. Hey, maybe there's another room at the bed and breakfast that you and you Laura know what? could stay in. We will work it out on our own. We have been fine so far. Okay, everybody, look, please, just stop all this fighting. I mean, it, it's almost Christmas. 